Yes, it is very sadly that time of year. Way too soon and way too quick. But here we are. Second last day of summer. Tomorrow's the last full day of summer, incredibly. And the last weekend on the boat. Winterizing starts this weekend. Pfft. What's wrong with that statement? I said summer. I said summer and winterizing at the same time it just doesn't make sense but it is what it is this year yeah it's sad so sad it's a sad, sad situation, and it's getting more and more absurd. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry for having to put you through that. Um, before I start this video, I'm just going to mention that it's it amazes me how many people comment on my videos in the most innocuous items, something that's in the background, which I don't see in person. And uh, one was that I did, I don't know, a month or so ago, where I was making coffee and, and my uh, gluten-free bread, and somebody commented on the fact that I put the peanut butter back in the fridge. And the reason that is done is because it uh, says refrigerate after opening, because this is all natural, has no preservatives, no sugar, no crap, no garbage in it, no nothing. So this is, like it says, only peanuts just so you know it's supposed to go in the fridge that's good stuff anyways uh, back to the subject at hand the uh, sad sad situation is first of all today is the last day of summer 2023 today in real time is Friday September the 22nd and yeah I know most uh, when I grew up well, as I was getting older shall we say I'll never grow up um, it was always usually around the 21st of the month is sometimes the 20th but mostly around the 21st of the month this would change over the seasons so tomorrow is going to be the first day of fall don't want to even say that out loud but uh tomorrow's the 23rd obviously if today's the 22nd don't know why things aligned in in the space in the sky um that way but it is today the very very last day of summer 2023 it's a sad, sad situation. Do, 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 do. Sorry seems to be the hardest way. Stop singing. Ooh, it is a bright one. It is a beautiful day. It is, it's, it's a summer day. It's a full on summer day. Arriving late this year. Um, I know I always go on about the weather, but obviously weather is very important, <clears throat> excuse me, and influential on us for our boating life and our boating enjoyment, boating enjoyment. And this year, as you know, because I already mentioned in a previous video that, <clears throat> excuse me, we had piles of rain. Hold on a second. There. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Yeah, piles of rain and cold and windy. And, um, yeah, so it really, really uh, it, it, it cut down our travel, uh, our ability to travel at all. Total so far, well, so far. Spoiler alert. Summer's over. Boating season is over for us. Yeah, the season, we went away uh, three times. Three different voyages. And I've shared the videos with you uh, when we went to Lock 40 twice. That was my whole week's holiday for all of 2023. I only took a week off of, uh, from work, from my, from my job. And uh, so, yeah, but that was two, week, two days away. We came back to the marina because the weather was, you know, forecast to be terrible, which it was. And then we went back out for another two nights. Um, it was good. There's a little bit more to that story, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, 
But anyways, and then uh, the Labor Day long weekend, which I've shown you, I think, three videos. I <laughs> Today in real time, I'm just finishing editing this week the last, the third, third portion of that, of that trip. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of uh, that little mini getaway. That was nice. It was four, three nights, four days, right? I think so. But anyways, it was, it was nice to get away. But we only got as far as Kirkfield Liftlock, which is not that far from our home base. Uh, we can get there in four or five hours, let's say, maybe, which isn't, you know, it's not a whole day's worth of travel. Three hours if we're lucky, but um, yeah, so that was it. That's all we did this summer, and um, that is sad, and it is sad. It's always sad when the season ends as it is now but it's doubly sad because it's ending earlier for us and I'm not going to get into that right now as to why but tomorrow the first day of fall is going to be our final time on the boat tonight is going to be our last night on the boat got here yesterday Thursday um, after work so I got here I don't know 6 six thirty something like that and I had a quick bite to eat and it was dead flat calm it was absolutely gorgeous no we didn't take the boat out because it's getting dark by 7 30 now and you know by the time i eat my dinner and have a couple of beers it's it's getting too late to take the boat out but we had a really nice time anchor girl and i we stayed up you know probably around 10 30 which is late for a school night and uh yeah had the tunes cranked up oh that's another thing watch for that video coming up uh where i finally fix that issue that I have with that JL, uh, JL head unit stereo system coming on all by itself. But that's fixed now. That's in another video. Um, yeah, so it was nice. It was beautiful. It was, like I say, it was a stunning summer evening, which again makes it, uh, makes it difficult emotionally knowing that we're almost done. By the time you see this, this boat's out of the water and it's already shrink wrap, but uh, um, probably be winterized for sure because I'm doing that all tomorrow I think I just said that but uh, yeah uh, a, a really different really really different summer for us really di the, a different season for a few uh, few reasons and uh, looking forward to next year as always this is basically just a wrap up to say here it is summer's over unbelievable unbelievable remember we started the season April 16th we were launched we were in the water April 16th which was really early and really, really nice. But I just got to tell you, summer, there was no summer for me this year. Uh, between work and uh, just not getting out to enjoy it, not being able to enjoy the boat, it's just like summer just was an absolute blur for me. It was, it's all of a sudden like, oh yeah, the leaves are changing on the trees. I didn't really even pay attention to the leaves coming out in full bloom on the trees. Anyways, that, and uh, yeah, it was just really, really different. Like I say, summer was not even really a summer for me. It just, uh, yeah, it's just, it was just a blur. So here we are, end of the season now. I'm going to, again, <laughs> try not to depress you. Um, let's look forward, moving forward, because after this, I will show you uh, an abbreviated version of my uh, winterizing. Uh, I developed a new little item to help with the winterizing of the engines and the air conditioning I think you might get a kick out of and as well I still have a number of how I did it videos that I will be sharing with you I got one that I edited already like a month and a half ago it's it's on my channel I just haven't livened it up yet I haven't found an appropriate time oh my god there's a ton of wasps in here um, so I got to go, I got to shoo them out of the boat because I don't want them to go inside the boat because little tiny will chase them. I don't want them to get stung. So anyways, uh, real quick, let me just do that right now. I got to close the cabin door. Stand by. Yeah, let me close that before those little buggers get inside the boat. Ducks are still here. Yeah, there's that video. I, uh, <laughs> I'll i have a really in-depth look at changing the duckbill valves on our toilet system, which is right down there, and a, uh, a sort of you know good overview of how the vacuum flush system works. Uh, spoiler alert, if you have strong gag reflexes, you may not want to watch that video. But uh, yeah, so there's that coming up. 
like I say, uh, the what I did with the radio, how I uh, fixed that, and I can't remember what else. But I got a I got a whole bunch of little ones, anyways, that I will be sharing during the off season. And I think I mentioned this before. I have a new feature that I hope to be introducing to the channel, which I think you guys might get a kick out of. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that because it's something I'm going to be doing. Uh, I don't have to be out in the water to uh, film that. That'll be literally information coming right off my computer. Um, so yeah, that's a whole feature in uh, my blog. I'll get back to that very shortly, my friends. I got a, I got three or four in draft mode. Uh, I just haven't had haven't had the time. Again, busy at work. Grateful to be busy at work and working hard. So coming home every night, just dead tired. Don't have the energy to uh, jump into that. And I'm back to work the next day. And when I'm on the boat, it's relaxation time. So looking forward to doing more relaxing and more traveling next year. Oh my God. And one other thing that I'm really, really going to try and do, well, actually two uh, little mini things. Um, I, I promised you guys last year when we did our big trip down to uh, the Rideau Canal and through Trenton, the whole system that was five and a half weeks out. And I promised I was going to share the stats, the fuel usage and the cost and blah, blah, blah. I haven't done that yet. I will do that during the off season. And another project that I've been wanting to do for the last number of years, just haven't got around to it, but I'm going to do it this year is just talk about our boating experiences over the years and the fact that I've been boating now for over 50 years. So I'll do a rundown of growing up with my parents, boats and getting out in the boat and what we did and the, the different boats that they had that we had as a family. And then I'll probably do a standalone video just talking about, because I've had a request on this a few times, talking about all the boats that Anchor Girl and I have had over the last 25 plus years. Uh, so that'll be an expansive video. And again, spoiler alert, most of them were sea rays. Yeah, and um, there was actually an old wooden shepherd cruiser back then too. So that's some maybe to look forward to. So yeah, my uh, toast and coffee is starting to get cold. I got to shoo these wasps out of here and uh, look forward to, I hope you will look forward to what I got going. And I will look forward as always to your comments. And I want to hear from you. Uh, just give me a review of your summer. I know a couple of you guys have already mentioned that you've already will be hauling out soon or have been hauled out. Uh, like I say, it's an early year for us. So give me your uh, thoughts of what your summer was like. And if you're hauled out and you're winterized, let everybody know. Love to hear from you as always. And I will see you in the next one. Wait for it. Cheers. Sorry, I got food in my mouth. And yes, we're going to take the boat out tomorrow for a final little mini cruise on the lake. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to go out in the lake and blast some fuel through these big engines.
Are you guys going away or? No. No. I'm just. Yeah, we're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Wait, unhook this big little boy. Oops. For the last time. I don't know where the other hooky part is. There it is, right there. 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 You're all free. You're all free for the last time this season, silly. Oh, I'm going to miss this so much. I'm going to miss this so much. Okay, let's see what happened down here. Pussycat had a major white belt on the floor. A major white belt. I know, you're always so happy, eh? You're always so happy when we end our travels for the day, as in mine. But I'm not happy today, silly. I'm sad because this is the last day. Yep, we're gonna go home. And no more voting till next year. Woohoo! We're gonna have to relive this through, through just through my videos. Okay, me and little tiny will see you on the next one.